Hi everybody and welcome to Building with Spin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And today we're doing a second mobile camp and this one is going to have walls and be more boxed in. So it's going to end up looking like more of a survival tent um, than a camp but it's going to have everything that you need. So we'll start with our uh, basic two platforms, two floors, and then we're going to use the structured stair. Uh, so this one here, there we go, and we can box this in now. So we're going to use our walls, and I'm going to use um, the basic walls the games come with, or the game comes with, uh, so something everybody has access to. So we're just going to enclose all sides here. This would be uh, easier to do in free cam, but I started this way, so I'm going to finish this way. <laughs> uh, oops, there we go. And uh, sometimes putting the door in is kind of uh, finicky. Uh, so if I can't get it right, I'll just have to get a different angle. So let's go inside here. There we go. And on this uh, this build, I'm not going to include a vendor. Uh, we're going to put in all the other accoutrements that you would need. So all your crafting and um, all the uh, little extra items that will make it special in your personal space. Uh, but we're not going to get a vendor, uh, and I'll show you why in a bit. Uh, so I've learned uh, the station, the weapon stations that I just put down is a little more forgiving than the other design. Uh, so this one will be able to be used with something else facing it. And I'm only going to put a stash box here uh, because I'm keeping in mind that not everybody is a Fallout First member, so we're not going to use all of our Fallout First gear. So I've got two of the stations, and I can put the other two up here, and then we'll decide where we can put a cut station. So let's get a Tinkerer's Bench down, and uh, a Chemistry Station down, and we put those up here. Uh, you can move this around almost anywhere up here but like I said in the uh, previous video you want to make sure that everything is on or within your flooring area and that's what keeps it mobile and we're going to use this a chemistry station because it's smaller and it'll take up less room I could use the other one here uh, and it would be perfectly fine <laughs> Now a cooking station. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to get me a, a drink of coffee here in a minute. So I could put it up there. I could put this one down here, uh, but I think I want to put a regular cook stove in this uh, because you know you want to personalize your space to what you like. And I kind of like this cook stove best. Uh, so let's. I'll put it here, and then we'll check it to see if we can use it. And remember to check to see if you can really use an item. You just go up to it and see if you can craft in it. Uh, if it won't let you craft, then something is too close uh, for the animation to kick in. So you'll just have to move it around a little bit. So I'm just going to put it up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Up on the top corner. Man, I really need that drink of coffee. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to check all my stations. So that one's good. Uh, this one will be good. And the Tinker's Workbench will be fine because it's pretty open. And then the two on the bottom, I'll go and check those because those are facing each other and kind of close together. Um, but they sh both should be fine too. I've, uh, I've built them closer <laughs> before. <clears throat> and <laughs> Excuse me, I'll get a drink of coffee while I'm doing this one. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we've got that down. And then the next thing that you want to do is just personalize your space up with some decorations, if you wish. Uh, 
and maybe add some defense so I'll just add a quick turret um, up here at the top that should be fine for my needs right now and then uh, of course we'll just put in some stuff to make it more uh, our home There we go, and there we go, a fully decorated personalized space of our own, and it's completely mobile. Now for the part um, that I didn't want to add a vendor in. So I want to blueprint this, and so remember to blueprint, you need to go back into build, and you want to select blueprint, and then the bottom piece, and then select structure and you can add it into your blueprints so we'll just name this one uh, but uh, the reason that I'm going to blueprint this and I didn't put a vendor in it is so I can use it as a base at workshops so that's what we'll do next uh, so I'll name this one and we'll run over and take over a workshop uh, so this is a really useful little camp build uh, so I don't have to build things individually. I could just open up my blueprints, put this down, and I have everything that I need. All right. So there we go. A mobile camp with walls. So it looks like more of a survival tent. And let's go take over a workshop now. <laughs> I think uh, the one to New Gad is closest. Okay, so once you've taken over your workshop, uh, then you just open up your build area, go to your blueprints, find your mobile camp blueprint, and slap it down. <laughs> uh, and you might want to choose your orientation. I will uh, orient this so that the turret is facing the road. Uh, but there you go. You have everything that you need at your can uh, your workstation, um, your workshop. There, <laughs> words, man, words uh, that you'll need. Uh, and then you know each work uh, workshop comes with uh, resources. So if you put in some resources and you're harvesting that day, uh, then you have them. Now, uh, another reason these mobile camps are, are fun and good to have in your like back pocket is if you have a camp already, uh, like I have, where is my camp? Oh, there it is. Um, like this one here, it's on a resource. And sometimes when I come into a lobby, it's taken. So I can activate my mobile camp and go to a new resource location, if you know where one is. And there just happens to be one here up this mountain so you just run up here and go up the levels and it should be right here right here if you go up too far you'll see some possums if you hit possum then you've gone too far uh, and back up a little bit and go down the hill but it is right here uh, by the Blood Eagles and um, over by Mount Blair, so in, in between the two. Uh, so I can just slap my camp down. And I like to have the turrets facing the Blood Eagles because this just seems like a safe thing to do. And now I can uh, add in my resources. I might have one blue printed. Um, no, I, oh, this one's copper. Um, I think this one's copper. Uh, this resource is lead. And if you didn't know that about uh, these resource locations, if you place your camp and it is within your camp circle and you go to the resource tab, then you'll find this extractor and you have to power it, but it'll extract 
um, that particular resource over time. Uh, so this mobile camp like this is good, especially if I need a resource that I don't uh, need a lot of, that I just need to collect for that gaming session, like black titanium or maybe concrete. So that's really good for that, so I can just move it around. And I have everything that I need there. And if I want to, I can slap down a vendor also. But there we go. Uh, useful mobile camp. Kind of resembling a survival tent. So thank you and have a great day, everybody.